I'm Laura. And you're listening to Sexy, Sexy Unique, Unique Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Pump heads. Pump heads. I was going to say. I, all I wanted to. <laughs> don't. don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Um, the beach day from hell is continued. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was so scarring. That beach, the whole. This whole, ex- like, Last outing. episode into this. You saw the last episode, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That fight was so cathartic finally we're getting somewhere i was just happy glad because i needed (sighs) i needed to see they were stepping up they both came to work that day they really did and i kind of liked that ariana was just you could see it she was like i want to fight she heard (laughs) i want to start a fight like she just had it she She just so what yeah she showed up that day and was like i'm not the one today Fair, please and bring please. that energy to this show that you've been hired on. I for went. the love of God, I pray. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for doing literally. And Tom, one scene. He this hurt. whole season, by the way. No, two. I guess you screamed at Tom. At Tom, James also, Nally, he he saw that and said, two can play that game." <laughs> and he this went, is what we're here for. They are just, they, as we know, Tom was had his back to her on the beach at the little tent they set up and went yeah see the cat bills or the dog the animal bills are the only thing ariana paid for such a sh- such a piece of shit yeah fuck you to talk about like who's paying what like that's his only defense now is like she didn't pay bills it's, it's like, also such a cheap- she also did clean the litter box like we saw it on tv like, well i mean that litter box looked really dirty. Yeah. I As mean, a their former house cat a little, owner, like, you... Their house looked a little stinky. I was haunted by the litter box revelation. As someone who also <laughs> has, like... Francesca. Had a cat and who also got too depressed to clean the litter box, like, I know what that's like, but I was just, like, you not were. not on camera, for the <laughs> love of God. If, I, if my litter box, my former litter box habits were shown on national TV, I would literally sue the production company. It was bad, bad. But he goes, yeah. And then so he and she and Schwartz <laughs> decide to go like get drunk at a bar. And Schwartz comes back and he goes, <laughs> and Katie goes, what are you doing? <laughs> Schwartz goes, hey guys, I'm going to take Tom to the bar just to let things cool off. I just don't want to jeopardize the vibe. I was like, what fucking vibe? They brought you out to Venice Beach. Was it the shittiest beach to go to for like a beach day? You're literally like on hypodermic needles. Like (laughs) what? And then Ariana goes, sounds good. Bye. And he's like, and then he looks right at Katie and she goes, I, I said, she did that. Uh, Miss, When Katie's mean to a man, Mm -hmm. it makes me happier than anything in this world. She went. I realized, because Tom Sandoval looks so weird. His face looks weird. Mm -hmm. And I realized, I was watching with Simon (laughs) last night, and he said, oh, I feel like he's on, like, HGH. Or steroid Mm, face. Steroid face. Because he's so cut right now. But it's like, something's off with him. His eyes look like, doesn't it look like he has like a vacant... It might be so much Botox too. Because his face kind of doesn't move. It also might just be like he has no lights on inside because he's like been... He's out to lunch. But I feel like he's spiritually dead. He is spiritually. He's dead inside. Something is like missing from him. He needs to go on like a hill and journey yeah. to like, Hades. he needs to go to like Nepal. <laughs> he needs to go to a silent retreat. No, he'd be annoying there. Yeah. He needs to go to he'd an like, ashram. He'd be, playing, a, he'd be playing music though. He would just be like looking at people. He'd, 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 he'd just be like, Ugh. can you imagine going to a silent retreat on like the other side of the world and then fucking Tom Sandoval is there? Mm-mm. I'd... Oh, mo- sh- quick show suggestion to continue your German and spe- and ashrams involved. Deutschland 83. In. It's about a spy from East Berlin going to West Berlin. Okay, I really need that because I realized in my huge 
World War II. I got so wrapped up in World War II. I yeah. really don't know anything yeah. about the Cold War. So I found everything about the Berlin Wall to be like really confusing. One day I need to have Simon's parents on the pod because they lived in divided Berlin. Where? What side? The west side. Oh, okay. But they lived next to the wall. Wow. And they would hear stuff happening. And she, my mother-in-law was singing in the opera and he was an artist and they were living in divided Berlin. That's they said, chic. They said it was wild. They were literally Suspiria for that. They met at Pari Bar where the witches go and that, like where she like looks at her at the end. Oh my God. That's the bar they met at. But they said they would like hear like. Gunshots. Violence. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to like, cause the cold war, I just like, I'm like, I don't get it. Like yeah. I don't have the bandwidth for you right now. I go, I'm lot. at capacity. The cold war tried to You're tell me they are doing it. And I said, I'm at war capacity. I really only have the bandwidth for like world war two stuff. Sandoval is like, so they go to this bar and Tom's like ripping Schwartz is like ripping shots. Cause he's a fucking mess of a human. Also like why is Schwartz is like, belly sweat happening do you know his shirt was all wet i was like you're a sloppy pig and then these like uh the literal production company is like trafficking young women to film with there was the toms because no one you notice no one else wants anything to do with them so they're targeting like gen z that don't know what vanderpump rules is they're like gen alpha (laughs) yeah Everyone in there is like, I hate, they know that's the fucking guy that cheated. And or they don't at all. Or yeah. they, all they know is Brandy Melville and the production company is like, get in here, girly. It's like film with these guys. And they're like, okay. These girls that look like they're literally in college are sitting at a table nearby and, and they go like, and Sandoval goes, Hey, Tom Sandoval is also like, so obsessed with the fact that he bought batteries and toilet paper and paper towels. He's being like, she's in for a rude awakening, man. She gets her own house. Shut up. Like CVS is on every corner and also Amazon prime. It's also like very like, that's what you brought to the table is you restocked batteries. Like how many batteries does one need? It's also like, so like antiquated the way he's like, he's like the little lady didn't know what she was doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it's really weird to me how fixated he is on that. Well, he's so vindictive. He's such. It's because he's. It's, crumb- a, it's all he has. He's a narcissist. His batteries are all he has. He's a dumb. He's a narcissist, and he's dumb as fuck. And those, the narcissist, the facade of him being a nice guy has crumbled. And what a narcissist does in those positions when they're caught is they like, they become rats in back rats in the cage. Mm. And the only way, the only defense he has is like batteries when batteries and toilet paper are all you have to like lean on yeah and it's like no you st- okay but you still fucked her friend <laughs> i'm curious i need like a spin-off documentary of like ariana's soul searching because once all the sand of all scan of all dust like wears off and like part of any hill and journey is like you ask yourself what was I getting out of this relationship? Like, why was I Mm. attracted to this person? What was I getting out of this relationship? Like what drew me to them? And like, what about my life and my patterns made this work for me? And I mean, that's a, it's hard to do that kind of soul searching, but it's so essential. And I'm just so fucking curious to know that from her because he is so dumb. Like, and we've all like, that's but never yeah, but, been a secret like he was so he was he's he was so hot he was yeah but they weren't and even fucking i know but he just had like he was he came across as like attentive so attentive and just like the fun nice guy and, and I like think, a caretaker and i think she saw him and as like, like babe i got your batteries yeah i think she saw him as like oh he's yeah he's he's definitely not as smart as i am but like He's nice to me. But I feel like there were must have been times where she was like, this is the dumbest person I'm I've sure. ever met. And like, I don't understand. But listen, when you love someone, you love them. But like a loving like a really dumb person, that's I think, hard. I think it happens with straight people, especially and gay people and all people. But sometimes when a woman loves a man and he's dumb as fuck, she's but he's nice to her and like 
makes her feel like safe which it, it seemed like he did for a while mm-hmm. she was probably like okay yeah you know? i w- i root for like a non cocktail book from her exploring these subjects yeah she has time she has when nothing she, but time well no and then she's going to host love island oh uh, that'll cut into her time <laughs> aren't there like 59 episodes a season of love island gonna, does america do it the same way probably. or she's gonna clean the fuck up yeah. good for her back on the beach sheena starts she's sheena you just hear sheena going <laughs> <laughs> she's giggling over the idea of setting schwartz up with former nanny tori but then katie's like i want to date tori so Katie and Schwartz are both vying for the affections of a 24-year-old, which feels sick. right for them. They're sick. They're tw- in a they're, sick and twisted game. She's like a hole between them. I'm sorry. They're treating her like <laughs> they're treating her like a flashlight. I'm sorry. This is sick. They want sick fu- and twisted. They James was right. Other. They want it's like this is a weird. I'm sorry, Tori. I respect Tori because she's like getting her screen time in. I like Tori. I like Tori too. She's like a cool bisexual pansexual queen with pink hair gen z girly love you go off period (laughs) but i'm also like these people are using you but also i think she knows that they're both using her and she's she's using them she's using them it's mutual yeah but i'm and i'm team katie oh me too i want katie to but i am like this is this is sick and twisted katie goes i want to date her and she She should date me she she goes miss delia girl (laughs) I'm haunted by this Venice day from top to bottom and especially the restaurant that they go into. I was like, what was it called? Like war- wharf, shanks? like beach wharf, beach wharfers, wharf the docks. Yeah. And they walk in and Lala goes, Lala is truly all about whatever it takes for the paycheck. She is in production's pocket so hard. She walks into that restaurant. She goes, this is so cute. And I literally go, is it? And then you I hear think- Katie go, yeah (laughs) and then everyone orders oysters on like the hottest day of the year i was like you guys are playing with fire i'm also haunted in the episode of sheena of ariana's when they have dueling birthday parties and sheena has it at or ariana has it at cod the seafood place on third street no (laughs) they're tasting restaurants it was this I is, pray they had, they had all this show had a glow up obviously but back then they were in the trenches girl they have were, they blown up free... how much have they really <laughs> blown up but I don't think see I don't think Lala is like saying that like I think she I think Lala probably is like this is cute I'm nervous they walk in and Katie goes yeah it's cute she goes yeah and Santa then they get Schwartz a bunch of buying oysters. drinks <laughs> And then Tori comes over and then... No, Sandoval goes over to that table of like 12-year-olds and he goes, he goes, what do you want to drink? And gets the... Oh, no. He goes, if you were going to buy your friends a drink, what would it be? And someone goes, that's so sweet. And like, then he gets them all drinks and he goes, when he goes to toast, he goes, to Venice, sun and laughter and a continual happily ever after. I was like... And then one of their... I feel like this is a group of girls and they're like their parents are sitting at a table near it's like they're like at like a like a birthday lunch. they're on a family trip to yeah. california and the parents said do you guys want to sit at your own table yeah. and the girl said yes and, and, and then lo and behold sandoval came over also, he is the kind of guy that would like hit on a 13 year old he's also like i'm tired of him being like i'm not drinking it's like you're doing i feel like you're doing like molly or so, like yeah you might not be drinking right now you're not but drinking like, but you're on like hga yeah you're f- stop lying <laughs> lion sh- lions lion tom tori comes over and she's very confident i'm obsessed with her me too i was like we should all be as confident as tor i just love her pink hair like she looks like a she's like i feel like but she's also to me also giving fbi agent because she's like <laughs> It's almost so on the nose. She's like a Gen Z, cute Gen Z girl who's also pansexual or bisexual. She's and in is the like, CIA. And is like in the CIA. She I, is. Because like it's She's like, undercover. This is the Americans. Yeah, I'm like, she's a Russian operative. She is. And I'm like, I'm convinced Tori is a Russian operative because I'm like, do you really <laughs> have pink hair? You have pink streaks? God, the- and she comes over and Schwartz is totally like, uh, she goes, yeah, his wife is here. <laughs> and he goes, no, no. And she goes, he goes, do you want anything to drink? And 
he goes, do you want something to drink? And she's like, yeah, you know what I like. And he goes, tequila? And she's like, no, and he what? Goes, oh, that go oh, sh- champagne. And, he, and she goes, yeah. <laughs> and he gets her a bottle and then comes back. And she goes, so are you going to ask me on a date? And he goes, isn't this a date? Which I was like, literally? And I took a gun and went. Put point <laughs> blank execution. <laughs> He goes, you get, he speaks in Twin this Peaks is- Black Lodge, like backwards <laughs> language. Yeah. When you do some, when a man asks you if what you're doing is a date, That's not that a date. is the time to get up and leave and <laughs> never speak to him. You kill, disappear. First kill them in a public space and then run away. You execute them. <laughs> a public execution is crucial. And then you get up and walk out. And then when the police come, the witness will say he had it coming he uh they're like uh ma'am what happened here and then the waitress will be like he asked her if they were on if this was a date she came to meet up with him and he asked her if this was a date and then the police go all right case closed case closed (laughs) let's pack it up he goes and then will you go on a date with me and then she's like sure and then he was like whoa this is a big day for me i was like you're 40 years old and like you're considering this like a huge step you're also in a relationship with a woman right now yeah you also have a you girl have, you have a you're, you have a girl you have a live-in you're in girlfriend. love with a, your live-in girlfriend you have a live-in girlfriend who by the way she, joe was on Ra- rachel going rogue that's fairly rogue of both of them. What I haven't listened yet. She's strangling Rachel. <laughs> I feel bad for Joe. We'll Me too. There. I feel really bad for her. Um, the girlies over on the couches, Lala, Katie, and Ariana and Sheena, right? Yeah. Lala, Ariana, and Sheena have a girl's chat. Yeah, because Katie comes Well, over. Katie goes over to Tori to just fucking finger blast. She, goes, <laughs> she sits down and she goes... Hey, what you drinking? Champagne? That's not champagne. You ever been to Champagne? It's beautiful. I'll take you there. <laughs> champagne, French. Champagne. Only so, only one kind of alcohol can be really called Champagne. It's from Champagne, France. The grapes, they're beautiful this time of year. And then Tori goes, "Yes, I've done many jobs. I mean, yeah, I've never <laughs> been there. Champagne, of France. I champagne know it well. France. I've d- uh, Ariana admits. Oh, also. Not Sinister Logan back in the fray with playing cornhole with James. I was like, mm, it's the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time. You <laughs> played a little hit, cornhole. You hit that. <laughs> That's what I call. I know. Well, Brock and Allie are playing ping pong. And he goes, so did you have any siblings? And she goes, no. And he goes, how was that growing up? And she goes, I loved it. And then they laugh. I was like, That's cute. Yeah. I need more than I need more info about Allie. She was on that CW reality show. Which one? In like 2010. Oh, the country one? Like Nashville. So the girls have a girls chat and Ariana finally shows a shred of emotion. She says, the anger I feel, I understand it's not healthy. Like this is not healthy. Huge. Huge. And she goes, I'm just, it's just that he has not owned up to it. And it's like driving her crazy. Yeah. And I get it. I understand where she's coming from. Like... But and also, yeah, you got to get out of there. She says, I feel like I, I got thrown away by this guy. She did. And she did. And I, I understand. It's also st- only like three months after or like two months after. Yeah. So it's like, it's very fresh. She feels discarded. She's scorned as fuck. This man is not apologized to her. He and pro- then wants to like live in this house that he feels entitled to. And will apologize to everyone else, but won't apologize to her. Yeah. Because if he apologizes to her, that means that he's admitting that he was wrong, which he can't do. Or it's like conditional where it's like, oh, if you let me have the house, then I'll apologize or like own my part. I feel like that, like he probably expected her to like leave or be like done i'm that blows my mind that i'm his, like you are you fucking kidding me no like, it's really crazy you are it's crazy because you bought batteries at like that what's that hardware you bought store? a house with someone like you you both 
chose this you like decorated yeah. it and like this was your shared property that you bought with the intention of living in it forever or like building a real estate portfolio together as like a long-term couple but also just his rationale like oh i would go to home depot once a week to get it's like and like, so what you fucked her friend in your house yeah you fucked this was a this house existed on the condition of being in a relationship together. Yes, and you were you had a an affair in the house. In the house while you're while she was sleeping. While her dog died. And while her, her dog died. I'm sorry. Like I, you're I, crazy to I think. I don't think that Ariana and Raquel were best friends. Like I don't like. I think that has been like overblown by like the show and whatever. But like, yeah, it was enough where it was an insane betrayal. You betrayed her, and so then what leave. happens when you break up? In this way, if you were a real man, you would leave. You'd leave you would go. understand that your choices. Exactly. Like the consequences for your actions are losing this house. Like If you had thought ahead and thought like, maybe I should break things off with this person or like figure out like, I mean, <laughs> It's astounding. It's astounding. It's astounding, yeah. He has no... There's no... like. He's not a man. This is also just what happens when you break up and you live together. Not that I would know. I've never lived with anybody. But, like, that's... Like, you're sacrificing then the house. You're not a stand-up guy, Tom. No. You're a bad... You're a really bad guy. And, like, I've seen people being like, why aren't they telling fucking Tom to leave? Like, I don't think that he, w like he clearly, if he wouldn't even leave for like 48 hours for her to like process the news that just happened, the chance of him leaving now is like none. Yeah, he was, he was, he just so, so, clopping around in the house in his flip flops while she was sitting there crying with her friend Meredith. It's actually, that's like crazy. <laughs> it's like, me. no, this is when you go to like St. Louis for a week. Yeah. You go home to your give family. Give her a chance. Give her a fucking week. Pack some stuff. Give her like a week to just like get her bearings and like figure out life. Like don't stay there hovering around. Insane. And then, but Katie's like, I have no time for, she goes, I have no time for deep thoughts. I need to go over to Tori <laughs> and make my move. And then they start kissing, and Katie goes, "Let's do it. Let's you can kiss me." Tori <laughs> goes, "Have you ever dated a girl?" And Katie goes, "No." And she goes, "Have you ever had sex with a girl?" And Katie goes, "Yeah." Katie goes, "Yeah." Really? Yeah. She goes, "I would never put labels on myself. I would never put labels. I'm just attracted to people." She's give me a kiss. She's demi. You know what is crazy <laughs> though. This reminds me in the hotel I stayed in in She's Munich, <laughs> there was a massive like statue outside. And I guess like this hotel, came on. no, this uh, almost, th this was a hotel where I guess Michael Jackson loved to stay. And there's a, <laughs> a shrine to Michael Jackson. People to this day are laying flowers, pictures, no. lighting Wait, candles. Wait, is this the one where he hung blanket over the balcony? I thought he did that in Paris. Oh. Or did he do that in Munich? I thought it was in Germany, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Was it? If he did and I didn't like put that together, let's just do a quick Google. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, but I was like... Certainly people are over it by now and like yeah. have watched HBO and like are maybe rethinking, but no, the uh, pilgrimage, people were like, there were fresh flowers oh, there people, and candles. People will never stop with MJ. You want to try to say anything critical about Michael Jackson being a pedophile? No, I you, mean, we've taught, we've chatted about yeah. this at length, no, but I like, know, I know. it was just funny to see like on the heels of that conversation, like the last time we potted, going to Munich of all places and people just being like, this is where I will make my homage to Michael. Yeah. Still to this day. Oh, yeah. I guess he loved Munich. I'm so unclear. He loved Germany. Katie goes, oh, yes, Michael Jackson loved Germany. Michael loved Germany. He loved to stay there. She goes... Have you ever had sex with a woman? Katie goes, yeah. Yeah. She goes, I want to kiss you right now. And then Katie goes, you can kiss me. 
and they start kissing and then some i saw someone on twitter because you see them hold they both have really long nails and you mm-hmm. see i saw someone say like well this needs to change if they're gonna have fun i know that's a hard thing is like you have to cut these nails mm-hmm. you see like a lesbian manicure is just like your middle and kyle richards do you see rihanna said kyle is definitely a lesbian no rihanna was do you see that interview mag i saw some of it she and she was talking about the housewives and she goes come on she goes, I met Kyle, really liked her, but like, come on. She's a big old lesbian. Yeah. Yeah, she's a, you don't like cowboy hats that much if you're straight. Um, Joe and Lala the next day go to Tail of a Pup or something. Yeah, they go to, they meet for hot dogs, but then the hot dogs look good as fuck. I was like, I want to go there and get a cheese dog. Joe immediately sits cross-legged on the bench and she's like, I want to gain entrance to the group because that is who is really important to Schwartz. And because I want to be important to him, I have to be friends with his friends. I was like, wow. Girl, she goes, I want to feel welcome in this group if I'm going to be in Tom Schwartz's life forever. And Lala is the ticket to that. And I was like, I love nothing more than the transparency and unguardedness of like a reality newbie. Like for her to come in and just be like that open about it. I'm like. It's a breath of fresh air, but I'm also like this. You will rue the day that you said anything that you're about to say in this show. Joe says she had no idea about Scannaball. Don't I was believe like, that. Don't don't lie, Joe. Don't lie. Be honest. Just say you did. Be honest. Is she going rogue by lying on rogue? I don't know. I didn't listen, but I'm like, you are a liar. You absolutely knew that was happening. Yeah, you went on double dates. What did you think you were doing? Well, there was just friends. She goes, honestly, in her confession, she goes, honestly, I thought him and Ariana broke up. What? Hmm. So that's her way of being like, yeah, I knew. But the only reason. She's really in love with Schwartz. It's really like, what a it's painful. Horrible place to find oneself in. She calls him like casually calls him tea money. And Lala goes tea money. And he goes, Oh yeah. We just call each other. Like randomly one time I was just like tea money. And he went, Whoa, Joseph. Lala's disgusted by their love. Lala's like, damn, you guys are like really in it. They're in a full blown relationship. They are, it, this was he is a bad. He's such a. Scumbag. He's a really. He's a bad person. He's a scumbag. Um. Um. James <laughs> Alley. They said this show should be called James and the Girls. <laughs> James. Is James always, and the Girls. He's he always the, with the girls. He's always with the girls. He's kind of. He is gay. He is, but he's not. Like, I think he's bi. Hmm. Or like. He's curious. Maybe not even by. I feel like he's just like likes attention. I fully believe that him and Logan, Sinister Logan. Absolutely. Were fucking, 100. But I don't think it's because he's really. E- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, you seem like a dad. Yeah. But then I'm also dad. like, I think you're <laughs> evil. <laughs> And he's Allie, rehabbing his image. Like I want. It's hard to it's continually hard. remember. But what? it. Like the things. truth about James, but then he does things like hang with the girls and it makes me be like, I love James and the girls. They go golfing in the Valley and I wrote, I kn- it's, it's hard for me to reckon with this, to reconcile this, but it's like, I'm watching him golf and I know what allegedly things have, are being said that he's done. And it really is like painful to hear that because I see him doing this and I'm like, yeah, he's hot. I know. And he's tall. He is tall. He's six one. He is. You guys got your bloody marys. Are they good? Are they strong? Because the girls ordered bloodies. And one of them ordered a coconut Red Bull. He ordered that. The I fuck was like, is that? probably coconut water and Red Bull. Oof. Can't think of anything worse. So he doesn't drink, but he just smokes weed. He's always high. He's always blitzed. He's bl- He's fucking basically doing an eight ball. He's high as shit and then chugging Red Bull and like espresso. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're sober if you're if that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, he asked Katie about the Tory of it all, and she's like, "Why would anyone think it's weird? Why would anyone care? Lies, all lies." Schwartz is going on a date <laughs> as they speak, and Katie goes to. Um, Ariana Katie goes 
What was going on with you and Lala and she? What was going on with you, Lala and Sheena, while I was, you know, about Tori? <laughs> and Ariana just tells them what she was talking about, and she's like, "I really just need to get out of my house." And yeah. She's like, and they're like, "What is? What kind of house are you wanting?" And she goes, "I want a tree house." And I was like, "Everyone does." Yeah. And she got one. She got something. But I don't. She like got out of the house. Yeah, she got I'm out of the happy house for and her. She's in the hills. She's yeah. a real celeb these days. It's good. And they realize they all talk about how Sandoval is organizing a paintball day, which I could. James goes, "Oh yeah, oi, <laughs> <laughs> oi, fucking paintball!" All the girls are really good at golf. James is a bad. Mm-hmm. Wait, is he gay? Does he have gay rage? Is he closeted? Is this what's going on? I think it's gay rage. Because Allie is so cute, but she. I'm, and I say this w- with the best, I say this like well-meaning. Allie looks like the kind of girl, a gay guy, if they had like a basic standard gay who's like kind of uncreative. If you were like describe the perfect woman, they would describe Allie. Because she's like skinny and like cute and petite. Okay, I have a theory. No, am I wrong? No, I'm right. Ra- Is that misogynistic? No, you're right. I (laughs) everyone's like yes (laughs) yes you fucking bitch no I you know what I mean though yeah no I get exactly where you're at um but I was thinking because I watched last week's episode of the valley and like there's a moment where Kristen like I'm just like trying to put together like Kristen like how she gets all these guys to just like because she's fucking she's fucking bonkers like it's she I've never seen like a more border like it's shocking she's off she's off, she's the off her fucking rocker but I was like she gets she always has she a boyfriend always, yeah. and she talks about the like having a drawer full of sex toys like she and her current beau have like a drawer and He's I so shut young by the way how old is he He's 32 okay So, but then I was like, Kristen is like milking these dudes' prostates. I think that she literally is like, watch this. And like, (laughs) she fucking is like milking men's prostates and they've never had that before. But that's what I was thinking earlier today. And then now during this conversation with James, thinking about the women we've seen him date, which is like Beard Alley, Beard Raquel, because Raquel was kind of Beard vibes too. Beauty queen. Like that's very love of my life. Gay to date a beauty queen, and then prostate milker Kristen, who he was more himself with, which yeah, is but like chaos. His true self is a chaotic gay, mm-hmm. and Kristen and him. I just watched their like two seasons. When they, ago. Remember when they fuck on the in the BMW on like the hood of his BMW after they like have a huge fight. But the way they are together, I was like, oh, it's like a chaotic gay and his like chaotic hag. Who just happens she to, like, definitely milk his like prostate. introduced him to butt plugs. You know what I mean? It was like you'll like this. Maybe it's yeah, maybe so. I she just always think lands like a she and that guy Luke who scares me. He's kind of gay vibes. No, I don't think he's gay. I think he's a dork, but he has a big old dick. Really? You know she says he does. Oh, I haven't watched like the most recent. I episode. mean, who knows? I just have a theory that she's the milk. She's the milkmaid. <laughs> Basically, your theory is that, like, straight men in particular, like, secretly just want to get their asses milked. Straight men, like, who find themselves sexually, like, wrapped up with, like, a siren such as Kristen, I think that there is a world in which you lure them into a good milking. <laughs> I think of you as Kristen a woman always has a boyfriend. Yeah. And she's fucking and everyone says like she's I think like and also crazy people are just like good at sex. They really are. Like I fucked like a fucking crazy guy and it was some of the best sex I've ever had. Like a fully like he was like male borderline and I was like this shit's wild. Damn. Yeah. And do we think James is good in bed? I don't know. Maybe with guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Logan. <laughs> Ask Logan. <laughs> but this is my working. This is my working hypothesis. The milkmaid. <laughs> <laughs> <The> milk <laughs> 
But I think that when you when you harness your fucking psychotic feminine energy and you wrap a you guy melt. up, you have that even as if he is oh, totally the milker, <laughs> even if he is totally averse to like any butt stuff, even if he's one of those guys that like, get your fucking hand. like <laughs> get you, your hands out of my fucking ring. Yeah, you can convince a guy with enough. Watch this. Yeah, where you get him in the moment and you, like, because it's also, like, they're going to probably like it. Yeah. I like, think the, the, biologically, a man has, like, a, even more pleasure in his anus than a woman. So I feel like you just have to use your feminine wiles to milk and then you have that man literally wrapped around your finger. <laughs> You have his bussy wrapped around your forefinger. His bussy is yours. Yeah, I think I think that that's a good theory. I think that's part of it. I think she just also is like But you can't but I expect also, that out of a man who's already on a milking journey of his own. I think James was getting milked long before <laughs> Kristen came into the picture. I think that's why their but, relationship didn't work out. But I hear you and I I'm sure she milked Sandoval a few times. Oh, I think that <laughs> <laughs> I think that Sandoval got fucking but I think, milked I by think, Dodie. But I think <laughs> I think James has been getting milked since he could. Also, I forgot James was living with some old gay yeah, man in I Beverly think... Hills. The milker John. <laughs> Not John Paul Paul. Ball. Paul. 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 No, but I'm saying it the way he says it. Paul. 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 Yeah. He was getting milked in that Beverly Hills high rise. Oh, he sure was. He got to live rent free. He with, sure with a sheet. the fuck was. <laughs> he was getting. He, he had <laughs> sheet milkers. <laughs> Not sheet girls. Okay, we have to keep going. Okay, we have so to go he, soon. fucking Katie. They're ta- they're all talking about going paintballing, and Katie is. I would rather fucking eat a leather jacket. What the fuck is her obsession with eating jackets? What is she talking about? That's what not- is she talking about? <laughs> when people, I'm like, I hear sometimes these people on this show in particular, this crew, <laughs> say like, it's a gnarly crew. But it's just like they say, they say like little like. <laughs> they what, say what even is this? Like their isms, like they're making. Yeah, up things. I'm like you. That is th- your figure. Like that's. So wrong. It's just off. You guys are all off. They're, They're all off. fucking off. They are. I'd rather eat a leather jacket. It's like, what the, the fuck, does fuck that are you mean? talking my about? Goodness. Lala goes to a sperm bank with Shishu. Okay. My theory also is that this fucking sperm bank just like spawn conned this segment of the show. I feel like this sperm bank gave Lala $48,000 to shoot a scene at the sperm bank. I wrote, Lala wants an entirely autonomous pregnancy. No man, justice come. And I wrote, hell yeah. This is the future for society. Honestly, men, straight men have flopped so hard. (laughs) They have. They really have. And they have limited time to get their shit together because do you know how many sperm banks? Like this also, I was like, God, this is such a harbinger of like where we are now as a society that like these people on Vanderpump Rules are doing this. Like, if I really wanted a kid, I would just fucking, like, whatever. Yeah. Lala wants to base. Did she say she wants to have a party and based at the party? That's what I was saying, I think. <laughs> I think she wants to have, like, a ceremonial, like, like uh, Yoni kind of. At first, I thought she wanted to have no, a no, party. No, no, girl. I think she's like... Because if I was like, oh, she wants to have a party where they go through the book together and they all choose the sperm, which no. I was like, okay, but that's like, okay. And then I, when I rewatched it, it sounded like she wants to have a party where everyone's there and then she's like, BRB, and goes <laughs> to the bathroom and just base. I think I think <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> I, swear, I swear TG, STG, I think she wants to have like... Live, she laugh, love, like live, laugh, base. James and the girls over <laughs> and just watch her base. Or just like she goes, or in she the goes bedroom. in the she goes in the powder room and then she comes out and she goes, "I did it!" and everyone cheers. And then she kind of just sits. <laughs> so wild to me. I honestly, it's punk rock. 
I mean, it. She, yeah. She says she wants this baby to know that it was con- that he, she, they were conceived with love. Meaning, at this point in her life, the love is with her family and friends. I know, which but I'm, I'm like, like, it's a little like, whoa. But also, you're like, when you were born, mommy had James Kennedy. <laughs> mommy had James and the Ghost. Ma- mommy know. had James Kennedy, Ariana Maddox. Like, she's gonna explain like who these people were. Dude. This is. This is like our new like celebrity like nepo baby culture like Dakota Johnson had like Tippi Hendren and Melanie Griffith and Lala's second baby as like Lisa Vanderpump and like <laughs> James Kennedy and Ariana Maddox and Sheena Shea over eating fucking and nachos Katie. while and Kate fucking Maloney <laughs> over while they ate some nachos and then Lala took to the bathroom to baste <laughs> honestly i'm like i support this it this is my thing is like she is clearly very traumatized from what she just went through with her other baby and the custody issue that mm-hmm. she is like she now needs to, she's in a place of basting party this is what happens when you fuck the wrong straight man you end up basting the guys James like kennedy in the living room the guys like don't worry we do a really like intense psych eval of every donor i, I liked like that well yeah i was like you in this day and age you can't have a <laughs> but it needs to be like a crazy huge vetting process i think it is i think at this, this point was a great ad for this cryo bank i think at this point and this crew the people they attract they need the best vetting possible uh yeah um everyone needs to i will say everyone needs to stop calling rachel ariana's best friend yeah it's it's over. We don't believe you. Sheena, stop saying it. Sheena goes, dude, the beach was so intense. <laughs> <laughs> and then they talk, and Lala's like, I have no sympathy. She's still living in the house. Get the fuck out. And I was like, okay. Um, Schwartz, Schwartz gets his hair done. She cuts for kids. Where, <laughs> she, where Joe is like the like cleanup girl. Right? Poor Joe. She bleaches his hair. She's the one who bleached his hair. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. He looks like a sh- he looks like a shooter. He looks like a mass shooter. Yeah, it's kind of becoming. You like it? I don't hate it. Ugh, I think he looks really scary. Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> his hair is like the color of a butter. He gets a cut and you see like the person who owns the salon is cutting next to Joe and she keeps being like, how's it going over here? Cause Joe's doing it. Oof. Joe is Schwartz is like, yeah, I went on a date last night and you see Joe just be like, Oh, and he's like, yeah, now she's on a date with, with Katie. And she goes, who's this girl again? And she goes, Tori. She goes, she's really close with Sheena. They've been friends for 10 years. I was like, wait, Sheena's known Tori since wait. she was 14. I was like, I think she's like 22. I was she's like, 24. She, they've been deep. They've been close friends since she was 14. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And Joe is like, literally, they probably like fucked that. Yeah. Morning. I'm literally like, I think Joe's, Joe's doing something that I think many people have found themselves in this situation. Maybe not living with someone, but like Tom Schwartz is the kind of guy that just will accept whoever's around him is what he will accept. So if you keep putting yourself around him and like being with him, he he's not no guy is going to tell you, like, stop fucking me. Yeah. I think, but stop doing my dishes. Stop like cleaning up my apartment. Stop taking my dog. Stop caring for my dogs. Like stop sucking my dick. Like no guy is going to sucking my limp dick. Yeah. Stop just trying to get me hard and it's not working, but it's kind of fun while it lasts. Like no guy is going to say no to that because you're a live in maid, a roommate, a dog walker, a mother, a therapist and a dick sucker. (laughs) This is like proving the theory that like men straight straight men like Schwartz want to date a guy with tits. Like they want a dude. You know what I mean? He needs friends and companionship and there was and like he'll take whatever and then he'll treat it. You can get really intimate with someone in that situation, but that doesn't mean he's going to respect you. No, it's really sad and dark and it made me sad and he's he's like I want to go Tonight I'm going 
Sandoval wants to take me to the Mondrian. I was like, oh, he was, God, I'm going to a singles bar. mixer at the Mondrian. And she goes, I want to come. And I was like, no. 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 But I was like, and, and Sandoval and Schwartz goes, oh, yeah, you should come. I was like, oh, fuck, Joe. It's Joe. Not good. I want to go in and go, I'm going to make this short and sweet. I want to go in and extract Joe. And like, Joe needs to be extracted by like the FBI. Yeah. <laughs> Tori. Where's Tori? <laughs> Joe Love. needs to be like put into witness protection and like start a new life after this season of Vanderpump Rules. Like this is a torch decision through and through. She should get a new identity. Katie and Tori are having a painting date at Katie's, and I kind of blacked out during this. There was there was nothing to see there. <laughs> it was very much that meme. Katie shows her her painting. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> What was this date? I don't know. Katie loves like a craft. This crew loves like a preschool date. They love the to like, painting. They love a preschool moment. The girls the busted they- ass sex in the city. Lala, Katie, Ariana <laughs> go they, out. They, they go into a they go into a dive bar and they're in slow mo. And I swear the song was. <laughs> I'm a be a bitch. I'm a be a what? No, and when it slowly panned up, I literally was like, "Oh, it's the girls." And then it panned up, and I saw Katie, and I was like, "Who's that dude with them?" And then I realized because of her jersey that she was wearing, <laughs> she was so mask on top. I thought that it was like the girls and like Who's they're like dude? non-binary, <laughs> like a like a bearded lady friend. You know what I mean? Like I was like, oh, it's a radical fairy. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are a radical fairy. I was like, oh, this dude's new, and then I was like, no, it's. Gay. And the music literally, <laughs> the song, I swear it was going, I'm a be a bitch. <laughs> it probably was. I was like, where are they? Culver City? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I was like, you guys. They go to a dive bar. Lala, Samantha, Katie's Miranda, Sheena's Charlotte, and Ariana's Carrie. 100%. Katie, Ariana goes, wait, Katie, I want to hear about your date. And Katie goes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was really fun. We did, <laughs> did crafts. We laid in the bed for hours and talked. And then Tom Schwartz is at the singles mixer with Joe. And she will not stop touching his hair. She's there as his girlfriend. As his live-in girlfriend. She's like grooming him. She's like, they're like pre, she's like preening and like grooming him and like judging up his hair as he's talking. Like, I was just like, not only is he girlfriend, he's, she's mummy. She said that they've been living, they've been sleeping together Saying I love you to each other. They're in a relationship. She lives at his house and they fuck like every night. And they say I love you to each other. You have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend. And you're at a singles event at the Mondrian. This is this is my worst nightmare it's of a hell. place to find myself. These who's Craig? Tom's assistant. Yeah. I was like, I literally when he said my assistant Craig, I thought it was gonna be like my. <laughs> the podcast guy, podcast guy from some <laughs> podcast, because I think that they're close. I don't know what they're, de- that but I heard trajectory. that and I was like, Ooh. but then it was a different Craig. Craig's kind of hot. I know, but I was like, who the? Fuck? He's easy on the eyes. Is this Anne's replacement already? I guess so. Is this some dude? Or this is straight horror. Joe and Schwartz. Why are they always at Sky Bar? They love it there. It's hell to me. They love it, but they're always at Sunset Strip. Sandoval is Schwartz is just so charming. He's just gonna always give off mixed symbols. I was like, "What? No, this is th- this charming." Goes, yeah, lie and also lie again because this isn't giving off mixed signals when you're when you say move someone. in with me and I love you. That's a pretty straightforward signal. Schwartz starts flirting with this girl and like Joe's kind of off to the side and then he they start making out with each other and then Joe comes over and she goes, "What in tarnation?" I was like, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it first. She goes, wow, what in tarnation? Okay, I, I'm going to head out. And then Schwartz goes, oh, Joseph, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm obsessed with that woman that was hitting on him. She goes, you've never been kissed like you've been kissed by me. <laughs> sucked down his tongue <laughs> down her throat and i was like damn she like hoovered his face she was giving rock of love 
she was but i was I like imagine it. that's your like one screen time is making out badly with tom schwartz i know at the mondrian and then joe's like all right i'm gonna go and then she puts her purse on and skedaddles trying not to cry in front of this is the second time joe has had to like flee leave a place the sunset strip because she's like being spiritually wounded Mm -hmm. really amazing i'm like this is what you get when you're in a relationship with tom schwartz lala goes so i had lunch with joe at a hot dog stand yesterday and katie goes what why how did this happen I wrote, because you're all on a show mm-hmm. where you all have to like film scenes with each other. She gets mad. at. She's like, I'm like very disappointed in you and this woman. It's like, Katie, shut up. Get over it. Get over it. You're divorced. You this guy fucking sucks. You are fully divorced from you're, this man. You're also now. You also. And Lala you're was dating like, a girl that also, he's also date. Like you are going after the same person. Like you are engaged in eternal warfare with this person. You're being creepy. Stop. Like Lala is just like this, that bum, that annoyed me so much. Yeah, I was annoyed. And I also was like, when Lala was like, you weren't friends with, uh, she was, you weren't friends with Rachel. You weren't friends with Joe, but you're holding on to it like Oof. crazy. So like, that's on you. And I don't need to explain myself to you. She gagged her with that. She really did. She goes, at some point, we, she goes, at some point we got to let this all go. I was like, it's Whoa. true. Go use your fucking feminine wiles and like start like just laying pipe to girls and bo- like you got this girl got this girlfriend i've, I've you've never I've been hotter for katie. i root for katie me but too I'm, but I'm, I'm like, like you, you got, you got it. it going on you do not need to care about anything that this man does yeah and it's like do you want to care about this like she does this is hell joe is not joe is like a golden retriever yeah i'm sorry i'm not trying to like any be... woman who willingly involves herself with tom schwartz may god have mercy on her soul and you just have to be glad that it's not you have yeah have empathy have sympathy for her and then mm-hmm. move on um is kyle chan gay or straight what's the deal i don't know because he had a party during one season for gay marriage passing at pump i always thought he was gay until this mondrian he might event just be like a cheesy straight guy Okay. Who knows? A jeweler. A jeweler. Um, Tom Sam- Sandoval flirting. <laughs> Tom. Oh, Tom Schwartz is like flirting with that face sucker girl. And he was like, she's like, give me your hat. And he goes, you want my hat? Here you go. And Joe goes, you give her your hat? You don't have any more hats. And he goes, no, I do. I have like 70 in my storage unit. And she goes, oh, good. Yay. And I was like, Joe, you have got, you have to change, you have to change your full identity. The, the care, like the concern being like, you can't give that's, that's your hat. Like after that, like, no, it's so sad. Mm-mm. Um, they go paintballing. Sanibel is walking everywhere. Like he's in Saturday night fever. <laughs> <laughs> he's carrying the paintball. They're in like Simi Valley. Lala and Sheena. Billy like, Lee's like fully armed. Billy Lee. <laughs> she looks like a SWAT team. Yeah, Billy <laughs> Lee is. She is there to win. Mm-hmm. The teams are divided between James and Sandoval. And Lala and Sheena are just watching and they look like wags of paintballers. I love the instructor explaining the like dangers of paintballing and going, Scary. you could go blind. It could hit you in the eye. You'll go instantly blind. You could hit you in the nose. It takes off a chunk of your nose. Now you're having reconstructive surgery. I was like, I a don't. I've been paintballing maybe one time, and I just like hid behind something. I think it's good to say it to these people because all of them. Because <laughs> fucking James would shoot someone like point blank in the face. But all of them have had nose jobs. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with Brock wearing absolutely zero protective clothes. He wears a. Thin t-shirt and little short shorts. Billy Lee is like, she is dropping out of a helicopter, like halo drop, is black did, ops. Did, was she in the army? <laughs> Maybe. She's giving like a former like army or Navy. I was this. I was like, what if Hills Have Eyes happens? And I this, would trust Billy Lee. Billy Lee is like, she's like a post-apocalyptic I queen. would follow her out of like the nuclear wasteland she, to a better future. She is fucking, she is commando <laughs> style in the thick of it. Schwartz and J- or Sandoval and James immediately get shot. <laughs> Which made me laugh really hard. Sandoval immediately lights up one of those like smoke grenades and just, he's like, he just goes, 
and then he gets shot. He goes, uh. He gets, and James shoots. He goes, I got your shoe, mate. I got your fucking shoe. And he goes, I got shot in the shoe. <laughs> Lala's talking to Sheena. She goes, and she's sketched out by all the 23 year olds that are around. And she goes, who are all these people? Sheena goes, so what? I don't to worry. She's 24. I was like, yeah, you've been. <laughs> like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's kooky. I'm imagining Sheena, like, at, like, a, like, 10 15 style, like, at, like, a 14 year old party when she was, like, 27, and just being like, yeah, like, fucking rocking. Like, this is fucking crazy. Be like, yeah, Harry Styles is cute. He's not my favorite, but I, like, I'm a Zane girl. <laughs> just, like, hang out in someone's basement in, like, the Inland Empire. She did, like, went to, like, a, like, she spent a couple days on, like, the Vanderpump Rules off season when she was, like, single and, like, childless, just, like, going to the local high school. Like hanging out, <laughs> never been kissed style, and she just like enrolled and like went to some classes, and that's where she met Tori. Not yeah, even high she, school, middle school. After she got divorced from Shay, she just like she would go to Inland Empire and like hang out with like the fourteen year old girls, like after school. Yeah, and be like, so what are we gonna do today? Or like she met the she would like meet them for shopping on Melrose. She they'd be like, see you at school, and she's like, I don't go to your school. I go to like the other middle school, but. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, but I'll see you on Melrose tomorrow. Yeah. And they would all meet and like go get their tongues pierced together. <laughs> she knew it always meet the like girls 13. to shop on Melrose. Yeah. Damn. But like a at like sweet 13. We cut to the Schwartz's hovel and Joe is cleaning. I was like, girl, after all that. And she's talking to Butters, their dog, and she's making bird noises. She goes, and then Schwartz comes in, probably walk of shaming. She and he goes, goes, hey, what's going on? He goes, so what happened the other night? Am I sending mixed signals? And I was like, yeah, you fucking, you, this is your girlfriend that you live with. You like, yeah, you come in me. <laughs> That's <laughs> you came in me last night and we said, I love you. Yeah. As we both came staring into each other's eyes and said, like, I love you. He goes whoa like what's going on he's like because i'm dating other people i'm having sex with other people i a don't really believe that no 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 and he's like i don't i mean imagine telling someone that lives in your house that you fuck and you say i love you too that you don't want a relationship and then they like who's literally doing your dishes they sit down on the couch and he basically is like i don't want to see you anymore and she's like cool like if you need like you know? Well, she has to be like, I don't think we should hang out yeah. anymore because he would never be a straightforward. Well, no, no, and, but he, she says, I don't think we should hang out with you more and maybe ever. And he goes, cool, that's fine. And then they talk and he's just like still flopping. And then she's like, I would never like make you, I would never make you like have to do something you didn't want to do. Like blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, girl, you got to get out. You just stop talking. Please. And then she starts crying and says, I need to call my dad. And I was like, I've been there. She's in love with Tom Schwartz. Yeah, and he's in love with her. Maybe no. I don't think he is. Then, but he keeps doing this exact same thing he did to Joseph. Katie, where he goes, Joseph, no, no, okay. yeah, Joseph, no. This man is a broken man. If Katie was really, uh, never mind. She just got to stay away, guys. We have to wrap it up. We have to wrap it up. But we'll be back. Like near, like probably less than twenty four hours. Yeah. We're recapping the valley, the last week's episode that we missed, and we're gonna recap this week's episode. So you're get, about to get like a flood of content. Don't, so don't even twisted. worry about it. Should we do the cult shout out? Yeah. Alex Delisle. Alex Delisle, my makeup, friend, I love her. Oh my god, makeup fresh. Makeup fresh. DJ Boo Boo. DJ Boo Boo. Rachel in Dublin. Rachel in Dublin. Emily Vaughn. Emily Vaughn. Gina Sapienza. Gina Sapienza. Sarah Elizabeth. Sarah Elizabeth. Lucy from London. Lucy from London. Brooke Johansson. Brooke Johansson. Rachel Knight. Rachel Knight. Brittany Ryan Weiss. Brittany Ryan Rice. Danielle McMillan. McMillan. Bridget Wisowski. Wisowski. Lady Swampwitch gives no fucks. Mm. Lady Swampwitch. <laughs> Jessica Hernandez. J- Jessica Hernandez. Mal Zatal. Mal Zatal. Mary. Mary. Mike Earhart. Mike Earhart. Sharon Baum Realtor. Sharon Baum Realtor. Timothy Shield. Timothy Chalamet. Summer Moon Honey Summer Davies. Moon. Rogue Stanley. Rogue. Matthew Thomas. Owsley Robinson. Mariah Kay. Mariah Kay. Kathy West. Kathy Beast. 
Kit Moore, Kit Moore, Hillary, Hillary, Orlando, Orlando Patron of the Farts, Patron of the Farts, Nick Sedaris, Nick Sedaris Emily, Emily, Kim Lucas, Kim Lucas, RJ, Jeffrey Pradima, Pradima, Pradima. Guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.